Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Elixir Drops. So before we even get started, we're gonna go to uh, this. This is a comment from the last video. Hope the next video is an Elixir app with a couple modules, maybe getting weather to display it or something. Well, guess what, CS? Today is your lucky day. We are going to do just that. So, so it's a, li a little bit to get through in a uh, five minute video, but let's, uh, let's hope this works. So we'll make a new app, we'll add a supervisor to it, and we're just gonna go right into it here. So we can open this guy up and start adding things to it. So first off the bat, let's add our dependencies that we need. So luckily I found this dependence, uh, this Metex library on GitHub. So it doesn't have a hex library, but we can just copy the Git URL and add that as a dependency from Git. So this is Metex, this is its Git URL dot Git. While we're here, we'll also add plug cowboy. This is gonna act as our web router and maybe um, add some other stuff for us. And I think this is 2.0. And we also want to add JSON to read our JSON, which we will re return from our server. And I believe this is 1.1. Let me check my notes here. Yes, so now that we have our dependencies, we'll go ahead and save that, run mixdeps.get and this should compile pretty quickly. And while that's going, I'm actually just gonna try to compile this, save, save us some time. Uh, now let's go ahead and add that cowboy to our application. So uh, this is a, again, this is a supervised app. So when this app starts, we're going to tell it to start up our web server. And so we're gonna use plug cowboy. We're gonna pass it a child spec. Now this is just some attributes that we need to get started. So we're creating an HTTP app. Uh, the plug we are using is of course uh, whatever we're gonna call our router. In this case, I'm gonna call it weather.router and we can pass in some options such as its port and we can put it on localhost 4001. So that's all you need right there in your application file. Next up, we need to add a router. So the router we just made. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have some code here because this is quite a bit to get through. So um, let's just paste it in and I can talk it over a little bit. So we're going to use the plug router. Uh, we have this plug parsers to parse JSON and help us read text. The match and dispatch from plug is kind of like your send and receive for your web router. And then we have three routes here. Uh, basically just the index, the homepage, our post to get weather data. And I'm going to write this function in a minute and the, uh, the ping. Now, of course, send response you get for free with plug router but these render functions and render JSON are actually handwritten. Now in, in uh, Phoenix, I believe you'll get these for free. You don't have to write them yourself, but here we need to write a little bit just to sort of parse the data and deal with response codes and such that of that nature. So that's your router, not too much there. And next up, we're gonna need to have some templates to render some content. So I actually, whoops, not duplicate. So we'll create a templates folder and we're gonna add just a one simple index file to that. It's index.html eex. And I actually am copying this over from the Elixir School blog, which I highly recommend checking out. That's uh, elixirschool.com. It's just an input form, one field for the city that you wanna get your weather in, and it's gonna post that data to that fetch route that we made earlier in the router. So here's that route. And uh, it's just posting, posting that data as JSON to this fetch route. And so we can grab that out of the, c the connections body params and do something with it. Now, of course, it's calling weather fetch, which we don't have. So let's go ahead and get that going here. So for this, we're going to say uh, we need to wrap, we're just gonna write a little wrapper function to grab that data from that uh, GitHub I showed earlier, that Metex library. So I've already looked at this briefly. It's pretty easy to understand. There's a little uh, coordinator um, function called retrieve temperatures and that actually retrieves several temperatures for a city. We're only going to pass it a list of one so we know that we just care about the one coming back and that's our simple weather uh, fetcher there. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that in the newer uh, Elixir mix files you don't get the config like you used to before so you have to hand roll this a little bit. We need to add a config for that weather API so that we can uh, talk to it. So I already have a account here at, um, if you read the docs here, it tells you to get an open weather map. So I've already done that. This is open weather. And, uh, you know, you'll get a response, something like this when you call that. So we're going to add that config 
um, here. So I'm going to just import it as a, as a file, a config file, so that now if you look at this, you'll, there's a config file for it's importing this environment. So it's just, it's just using system.putenv to put it in there and system.retrieve uh, to, uh, to get the API key out. So now I think we actually have everything. So let's see if it all worked. To run this app, we can do mix run no halt so that it will just keep the server running. All right, and here's our app running. And so if we want to know the temperature of Paris, we type it in. There you go, 14 Celsius, something uh, closer to home. We see what we get, and 27.7 Celsius. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.